Love is like Majnun and Layla. You know, the Arabs use Majnun and Layla. He says, didn't you ask about that place, that neighborhood that's not, it's not there anymore? Didn't you ask about it where Layla used to live? And he said, no, indeed, I asked. But how do dead stones give me answers? You know, where did everybody go? And then he says, I go by these stones, you know, the, the, the dwelling places. And I kiss this, this wall and I kiss that wall. And then he says, it's not love of the walls that have enraptured my heart, but love of the one who used to live in these walls. That's why we go and visit these places. It's not the places. It's the beloved. He was there. That's why we go there. Because he walked there. One of the poets, he said, you know, they they saw Majnoon and he was, he was taking care of this dog, giving it food and patting it. And they said to him, what's wrong with you? Why are you treating that dog like that? And he said, don't blame me. You know, leave, leave your blame. Because I, my eyes saw this dog once in the vicinity of Layla. Just the dog was near Layla, and so he has an affection towards the dog. And that's, that's real love. That's not, uh, that's not imagination. That's real love. A lot of modern people don't even know what love is. A lot of modern people have lost the capacity for love. Because they're so alienated from their heart. You know, when you're cut off from your heart, how do you know what love is? Because the heart, the secret of the heart is love. And that's love the Sahaba had for the Prophet ﷺ. Bilal couldn't even live in the city. He went to Sham to live in Syria. One time he came back, this was after 20 years, they convinced him to give the Adhan. He didn't want to give the Adhan. He couldn't give the Adhan in the mosque of the Prophet ﷺ. It was so overwhelming for him because he called the Prophet to pray. So he gave the Adhan and, and people came flooding out of their houses in tears. Thinking the Prophet ﷺ was going to come and lead them in prayer. Because that, even after 20 years, that's how connected their hearts were to the Prophet ﷺ. That's love. That's, that was the state of these people. It was a state of mahabba. You cannot love Allah without loving what Allah loves. You, you don't love the beloved without loving what the beloved loves. When Abu'i... Abu Ayyub al Ansar. When the Prophet ﷺ came to Medina and he, he said to let the, the camel go, when it uh, came and then ascended at the point, alighted at the place where the masjid is now, Abu Ayyub took the bags of the Prophet. And because everybody wanted the Prophet ﷺ, but Abu Ayyub took the bags. And the Prophet said, a man is with his luggage. And he was so diplomatic, he didn't want to offend anybody. And so he went into the house and Abu Ayyub put him on the, the bottom floor because he wanted to, uh, to honor him. It's easier to be on the bottom floor than on the top floor. You have to walk up the stairs. You can't go out as easy. He wanted him. So he and his wife went up. He couldn't. He, he, he became so constricted because he was, I don't want to put my foot where the head You know, where the head of the Messenger of Allah, this is Adab. People don't have this, this understanding anymore, you know, this loss of Adab in our age. So he went and he asked the Prophet, please, we can't stay above you. And so the Prophet changed places with him and then he would bring the food up 
And when the food would come down, he told his wife, show me where the messenger's fingers ate from, and then he would eat from that place. This is tatabu'ul athar, following the traces. And then one time he took some food up that had garlic. And then when they brought it down, Abu Ayyub asked his wife, where did he eat from? She said he didn't take anything from it. Abu Ayyub said, Faza'atu. I became completely, uh, you know, Faza is like to be in a state of, of shock. And he ran upstairs and he said, Ya Rasulullah, was there something haram in it? He said, no, he said, it's just garlic. I don't like garlic. I don't eat garlic because I speak to angels. And angels don't like bad scents. Angels like high scents. But his state when he saw it, did I do something? I mean, that is adab. Because it's mahabba, it's from love. He, he had so much love. When years later, when hard times fell upon Abu Ayyub al Ansari, he went to one of the, the, the caliph at the time and he asked him for help. And he, he said that the Prophet said, a time will come when people won't help. And the caliph said, what does the Prophet say to do in that time? He said, be patient. He said, well then be patient. He needed help and he left. He went to Ibn Abbas in Iraq and he went into his house and he said, Wallahi. And this is years after he said, I'll do today what you did on that day. He emptied his house, he gave it to, and then he gave him a big gift. Oh, Ibn Abbas is very wealthy. He gave him a big gift of money and treated him the same way as, as that's love. You love the one who loves the beloved. You love the one who loves the beloved. Uh, Jibreel in a Sahih Hadith said, if Allah loves somebody, He calls Jibreel and He says, I love so and so, so love him also, because I love him. People of the heavens, they love.